you tell us what happened on that last goal for the game winner? Yeah, I knew time was running down. Uh, just tried to get open. They get the ball from our defense, and uh, you know, I turned my head and saw Stephen Brooks wide open, and uh, you know, he's got a great shot. And, and uh, if there was one guy we wanted to shoot at the end of the game, you know, he's one of them. And, you know, he buried that. It was, just, it was a huge sigh of relief uh, and gave us some momentum going to overtime. Then in overtime, tell us about that, the game winner. Uh, you know, Brendan Loftus, hats off to him. Played a heck of a game uh, when we were struggling a little offensively. Uh, you know, I think every goal he just kind of ran by his defender. And, and to do that in overtime and, and bury yeah. that shot, uh, you know, it's huge. And I'm so happy for him. And how huge is it going into now, Hawkins? You're three and one coming off an overtime win, rather than two and two coming off an overtime loss. Uh, it's huge, you know. Anytime three and one's a big start for us. We after being in the hole uh, the last three years, you know, early in the season, and uh, it, it's huge. We have some momentum. It would have been a devastating loss today, and uh, just glad we pulled it out. And how about just the way you won? You came from behind, and then you, you know, with two seconds left off the ball, then in overtime. Just how, how big is it just for the team? It's huge. Um, you know, it, it just shows the character of our team. We never gave up today. We definitely struggled at times, uh, but we hung in there and, and we prevailed in the end. Mike, I didn't think you guys shot that well today. Good, true statement? Yeah, I'd say so, but, uh, you know, their goalie played really well, and uh, I don't know how many pipes we hit, so that didn't help either. And, uh, you know, it's something that uh, we need to get back to work on and something we can definitely fix, and, uh, you know, we'll get back after that tomorrow. Talk about the uh, persevering a little more, getting through the fourth quarter to come back and then having to pay off. <clears throat> Obviously, running? you're a game winner, or the game to send it to overtime. Tell us about that. You know, Mike Lavelle made a great good ball play, and uh, he got a little covered. He got his hands free, and I was open like 20 yards, and he gave me a good pass, and I just knew I had to shoot, and luckily one in the back of the cage. Confidence that it was going in when you fired it? I just knew I was just going to let it rip, and I knew it was some, something had to fall today, and I'm glad it was that one. What's running through your mind when you when you get that ball? Do you know how much time was on the clock? Or I knew there was like at least five seconds left, so I knew I just had to catch it and fire it, and that's what I did. Is there any kind of? I mean, what's running through your head at that time, though? I mean, how many score, score, you going? score! Just like, please don't miss, please don't miss. <laughs> and found, luckily, I went between the legs and I found the goal. Tell us about what this means for the team. It's huge for us, you know. Especially last week, we came out and get lost against overtime against Virginia. And now this week we play Georgetown, which is a good team, and we come out in the victory over or, in overtime. It's big for us. We got we got a lot rolling for us right now for going into Hopkins, and we'll see what happens next weekend. Two games in a row with that with the shots to send it into overtime. You know what? What are you just thinking every single time to just keep those ice water? I don't know. It's just I just I guess I guess you got the opportunity every time in the last two weeks, and you know thank God they fell, and it's like it's good for me, you know. <laughs> and you know you're a guy. You were on that 04 team, so you. you been on big stages before you played in a final four. How big are those experiences? No, it's big, you? especially, you know, for senior leadership. You know, I, there's a lot of young guys out here, and, you know, you got to do what you can. And, you know, it's big for us. You know, we got a lot of seniors, and you know, some people got to step up. And people stepped up today, like Brandon Loftus stepped up huge for us today. He scored the game-winning goal, and I just luckily got the overtime goal, and he, got, he finished it for us. Thanks very much. Congratulations. 24. Well, tell us about the game-winner. <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, uh, we, just, we noticed, you know, halfway through the game that he was dipping a little bit low. So, just try to take what they could give us, and you know, I caught the ball up high, try to catch in the middle, middle of the field, and uh, get a good look at the cage, and just try to, you know, stick it high, put it in the back of the net. That goal was like a replay of the first three that you scored. You seem to be able to go around to the right today. Tell us about how you're able to do that. Yeah, you know, it's, it's just about getting high and getting in the center of the field. You know, you get a better angle at the cage, and uh, that's what we really wanted to do all day. And you know, we just after halftime we uh, made some changes, and we tried to try to execute more and more. So. Tell us about what this means for the team. You know, we started off flat, and uh, this is going to be a huge momentum swing going into Johns Hopkins next week, especially. I think uh, I think this is just huge for our huge for our team, and I think we really needed this at the moment. You know, starting flat. So. Uh, you know, you guys have kind of come out in the past three games, uh, not scoring a lot in the first half. What can that be for Beaton Tish? Well, I mean, you know, I, I think it's it's still early, early in the season. I think we could keep uh, continuing on our shooting, uh, getting better on that, and I just think it shows a uh, great character of our team. You know, just stick through and. Uh, Keep coming up with big plays, especially you know when we need them late in the game. So, what was it about Miles' pass today that really had you guys? I mean, he, he just seemed like everything was there.